My name's Mac. No, Mom. <laughs> Say hi. My name's Mom. This is Mommy. This is Mommy. I thought this was Mommy. This is Mac. You've got stuff on your face. We need to go take care of that. Hi, buddy. Look at my turn. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a list today of my favorite toddler winter gear items. And now that we've been through a few winters with my three-year-old son, I think that we are um, pros. We've picked out what we do like and what we don't like and what works um, for winters here in the Northeast. We live in Saratoga Springs, New York, so um, we get quite a bit of snow and so we have to be prepared and be able to stay warm and we have to be able to play in the snow. You know, we have to be able to go outside and actually enjoy it, especially now with the pandemic right now. We can't really go many places inside. Um, we've been extra cautious because I am pregnant right now. I'm 21 weeks pregnant so I don't really want to be going indoors um, to places especially with my son unless I absolutely have to so we are getting bundled up we are getting outside and we are going to get our energy out in any way possible when you're a three-year-old little boy you get it and I just learned recently as you saw in our gender reveal video um, that we are having another little boy so we gotta have the best gear that lasts. Here we go. At the very, very top of my winter gear list for toddlers are these Kamek snow boots. I think that this style is called the Snow Buster. Kamek makes a bunch of really great um, boots for people and kids in the winter. And these in particular are my favorite for a number of reasons. Number one, they're waterproof. Um, no matter how much my son tries to um, roll around in the snow and get snow inside them, uh, it's very, very, very difficult. And that's for several reasons. This is like um, almost like a galosh or like a, um, a rain boot type material, this rubber. This drawstring is also very, very helpful in keeping the water out. This adjusts to the size and poofiness of their pants if they have snow pants on um, or if they have jeans on, whatever, um, it kind of just, as you can see, suctions up to their leg and you know, it's sizable to whatever kind of pants they're wearing. The other thing that I really, really love about these boots is the lining that's inside of them. Um, it is fantastic because as you know, <laughs> with sweaty kids running around outside, um, things can get a little stinky. So um, while you have this waterproof rubber um, outside portion, you can take this part and throw it in the washing machine and it's also very, very warm material. The other thing that I love about having these liners inside is they almost function like a sock. So there are days where my son is extremely excited to just get out and play in the snow. Maybe he wakes up, he sees snow falling or he's been cooped up all day. Um, he can just slip these on himself while he struggles a little bit with putting socks on and off. Um, he can just put these boots on all by himself and it's fantastic. The Kamek's also, as you can see, have fantastic traction. We do a lot of hikes in the snow and um, Mac runs around like a banshee and um, he doesn't trip that much. So I think that's a pretty good test for traction. These Kamek boots come in a whole bunch of different styles and colors. Um, pinks and blues and purples and designs, you name it. So be sure to check them out. I have a link in my Amazon store under toddler winter gear. Another fantastic winter find that I discovered this year was this Target coat. Um, it is by Cat and Jack. Currently we have a 3T for my three-year-old son. And I even already went ahead and bought a 4T for next year because he's really growing fast these days. Um, so I didn't know if they were gonna have this next year or not, but I wanted to make sure we did, um, even if they didn't have it in stock. What I really love about it is it's great quality without spending a lot of money. Some of these really, really good, really warm winter coats that let your kiddos go out and play um, for long periods of time and keep them comfortably warm, um, you're gonna spend a pretty penny on them. And I know I did. Patagonia, um, North Face, some of those big name brands, they grow out of them in a year. If you're lucky, maybe two. So I was really excited when I found this one by Cat and Jack that was reasonable. While a North Face or a Patagonia will run you about 80 to $100, um, and yes, your kids will be warm and happy, and I've been there, done that, this one only cost me $39.99. $39.99. 
run if they still have them in stock. Besides its actual warmth, another really thoughtful feature that they thought of, Cat and Jack, is um, the lining on the inside, the sleeves right here, it turns into a glove. So let's say you're a hot mess mom sometimes like me and you forget to bring a pair of gloves. This folds over their hands and you can use it just like that. So you have gloves always attached to the coat. I'm looking at the uh, Target app right now and it's called the Toddler Boys Parka Jacket by Cat and Jack. This one's in olive green and it also comes in a camo color. And you know what, even though it's supposed to be meant for toddler boys, if I had a little girl, I'd probably put her in this too. My third toddler winter must have are these packs of mittens. They come in packs of um, anywhere from two to 10 and you can find them online at Amazon. I'll link them in my Amazon store under um, toddler winter accessories or winter toddler accessories. Um, and I found them at Target. I found them a bunch of places, but it's good to buy them in bulk and I find that's because you lose them, they're like socks. You lose them in the washing machine, in the dryer. Um, you lose them on the go. And also for us, we kind of go through several pairs a day. While the waterproof gloves are um, good for keeping your hands dry, they also um, don't allow you much movement. So this allows my son to move in the snow. They're mittens, so they keep your hands a little warmer than gloves, um, but you can be a bit more dexterous with these. And as soon as they get wet, we just slap on a new pair. So I keep like at least three pairs on me at all time. And if you lose them, no big deal. They're reasonable for a pack of five to 10. Okay, another item I newly found this year that I absolutely love is this um, Rima snowsuit. Um, we've been through a few snowsuits in max time as a uh, kid running around in the winter. And um, this by far seems to be the best for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, it's super, super, super warm um, and cozy. Um, and the hood is lined, so that makes it nice and warm and cozy. Um, I love the little fur detail, that's just a cosmetic aesthetic thing that I think is just super adorable that you don't see on many coats, um, snowsuits I mean. The hood is removable, which I love because if your kid's annoyed by a hood or you're, it's not snowing, you don't need it, um, you could just put the body part on them. It has a zipper and it has snaps, so extra security there. And it has these little stirrups to uh, go around boots or socks and keep them down so they're not riding up and irritating your kiddo. Um, I just find this to be the warmest of the snowsuits without being too um, obnoxiously poofy so that they can't move around. Um, I also like that it has room for growth. This is a 3T for Mac, because he is a 3T. Um, but when I got it in the mail, I was actually alarmed that it looked a little bit larger than I expected it to be. It kind of um, is more of like a 4T size in appearance. Um, it just gives them room to grow. It's, it's a little spacey without being too overbearing and not allowing them to move. I will warn you that the Rima snowsuit is a little bit on the pricier side, but I was okay with that because it's definitely much roomier than some of the other ones. And so you are probably most likely going to get more than just one season out of it. And so I was all right with that. I have the fireplace on right now and I'm like, five months pregnant, and I don't know if that was a good choice. I thought I was being romantic about this whole situation, but you can't see the fire anyway. And I'm just like <laughs> sweating. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into some snow play, snow toy related items that we are absolutely loving this year. Um, this is the second year we've actually had a snowball maker. And you basically, it sounds simple, cause I know you can make a snowball with your hands, but let me tell you, the snowballs that these make and the actual fun of grabbing the snowball with these snowball makers, um, it's just, it's really cool and you can make a bunch of them at once. What's great about this is you can really make snowballs in bulk and Mac loves to do that. He likes to make a bunch of them all at the same time and put them in the wheelbarrow. Our dog also really loves to play with the snow and catch it. Um, it's just, it sticks together a little bit better because you're squeezing the snow all together, compacting it. I'm sorry, am I boring, boring you? And you can make snowballs in all different shapes and sizes with these snowball makers. There's heart-shaped snowball makers. Um, 
snowball makers that make uh, rubber duck shaped snowballs. I mean, there's a whole world out there and I plan on investing in a few different ones. So if you're interested, be sure to check them out. Another winter play item that we're absolutely loving now for the second season in a row, so I know it sticks around, um, is a mini snow shovel. Last year we started out with an actual toy snow shovel. A lot of toy stores have them. But this year we actually invested in a real snow shovel that's just mini and has an extending um, handlebar for our son Mac. And he just absolutely loves helping daddy with shoveling the snow. And what's great about this is it's useful. Um, last year he couldn't really be very helpful. He was just kind of following Rob around and plowing behind him. But this year he actually scoops up the snow and gets it out of the way and pushes it out of the driveway and the walkway. And hey, it's a win-win if you get to play and enjoy yourself and kill time in the winter, but also um, get a clear walkway or driveway. Put your kids to work. Teach them some chores while you're at it. It also tires them out. All right, last on our list, but certainly the farthest from least are our Strider bike snow skis. Go buddy, go, slide. If you have a balance bike or a Strider bike, um, these are awesome for winter. So basically what they are is if you have a Strider bike, which I know a lot of little ones do have now, the balance bikes are getting more and more popular um, to teach your kid how to ride a bike and so they never need training wheels. These simply strap onto the bike wheels, the Strider bike wheels um, or the balance bike wheels and they use the bike as they normally would. They just um, run, run, run with their little legs on either side and they go, they use the bike as they normally would, only with skis on it, and they can slide and use it in the snow. I love that it helps my son get energy out. I love that it helps him um, gain confidence with his balance. I love how it takes an activity that my son already adores and just adds on to it and enhances it and takes this old activity that's one of his favorites and makes it new. Who doesn't need that when we're constantly looking for new things to do with our kids when we're isolated at home? Everything that I've mentioned here in this video, I've linked down in the description box below. So if anything piqued your interest, you can check it out right there. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I'll be sure to come out with another video soon and talk maybe a little bit more about my pregnancy favorites. Um, so be sure to keep a lookout for that. If you liked this video, if you found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like it, and subscribe to my channel. You can also share it with other people that you know. That also helps me. All right, I will see you in the next one, everyone. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up.